Hi, I am Dr. Shivendra and in this lecture we will see the scene management in Unity. Basically, a scene is nothing but a container which contains uh, various objects of your game. So it can be used to create main menu, individual levels or anything else. So we can think that a single scene is nothing but a level of a game uh, because in many games we have seen that there are various levels like level 0 for beginner, level 1 for moderate user, level 2 for expert user. So these different levels are nothing but the different scenes because each level or each scene may contain a different environment like uh, level 0 or beginners level may contains very simple environment for playing and the level which is used for expert may have very complex scene environment for that a single game may consist of multiple scenes so uh, in each scene uh, we can place our environment we can customize the environment we can use some obstacles we can decorate the scene okay basically when scene management is required so scene management is required when we have more than one scenes in a game and it is quite possible that in a game uh, we may have more than one scenes it is quite possible basically scene management deals with the very important things that is switching between the scenes because if we have uh, multiple scenes so which scene uh, will be displayed on the first appearance of game and after that which scene will be displayed so this uh, switching between the scenes is nothing but a very major part of the scene management so basically we have two methods uh, for switching between the scenes the first one is scene can be switched on time basis means suppose uh, uh, we are in level one of the scene and uh, we have coded in such a way that after 10 minutes of playing the user or player will automatically switch to the next level or next scene so this type of scene uh, switching is called uh, switching on the basis of time okay the next one is uh, scene can be switched on the button trigger uh, so uh, there may be a button available uh, for changing the levels and whenever we want to change our level we can trigger on the button uh, the scene can be changed so uh, we will discuss the scene management or switching between the scenes uh, in both the uh, way in the unity so this is the sample of scene uh, here we can see that we have only two game objects main camera and direction light so first of all uh, i will create a 3d game object that is cube okay now we have to save this scene Suppose I am giving this scene, scene 1. Okay, so here we can see that in asset folder, a scene 1 is created. Now, we have to create another scene. Go to new scene. And uh, for uh, making a difference, I will take another game object that is capsule here. Okay, and uh, write the name of this scene. Save this scene as a. scene 2 so here we can see that we have two scenes scene 1 and scene 2 okay so just open scene 1 so first of all we will see how we can uh, change our scene on time basis okay so for that we have to create a script mm, scene change now open it uh, so here uh, we have to invoke a function which will change the scene okay so first of all we have to create a function for loading the scene too so we can public void 
scene changing scene changing okay so in this function what i have to do uh, i have to uh, see okay one more thing we have to do we have to uh, use a name space name space for scene management so using uh, unity editor dot scene management okay so now here so here uh, we have to write scene manager uh, dot load scene so which scene we want to load uh, i want to load uh, scene 2 okay so we have to write the exact name here scene 2 okay so uh, what uh, we did here we just created a function where uh, we are calling uh, load scene for loading the scene 2 now we have to call this function uh, in start method so for that we use invoke because uh, by using invoke we can provide the time after how much time this function will be called so invoke which function scene changing the function scene changing okay and i want that after five second the scene should be changed from scene one to scene two okay so i have written the script but still i have not assigned this script uh, to any uh, game object so for assigning this uh, we can create an empty game object and assign this script to this game object okay now play it okay so here we are getting an error that is seen to couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build setting so uh, uh, you are lucky that uh, you are getting this error because uh, uh, now uh, we will cover this topic also so here we can see that we have to load all scenes in your build setting which we want to use for your scene management so for build setting you have to go to file and build setting so here we can see that uh, scenes in build there is no scene is added so we have to add scene add open scene scene one is added uh, and uh, we have to add scene two also so just drag it scene two so here we can see that uh, the scene one has index zero scene two has index one and uh, if we will have multiple scenes uh, we have to add these scenes in our build setting so one more thing you have to take care that uh, the scene which will have the index zero that will be the front view of the game means whenever we will play the game the scene having the index zero will be demonstrated first so you have to take care of this so uh, i want that whenever i will start uh, playing the game uh, scene one must be displayed so this order is okay now uh, i will play it I count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here uh, you can see that scene is changed. Like now you can see that we are right now in scene two. So in scene one we ha had a cube, and in scene two we have sorry capsule. So now you can see that how, uh, how smoothly we switched from one scene to another scene using timer or on the time basis now we will see that uh, how we can use buttons in order to scene uh, change the scene 
or change the level so for that first of all we have to create a button so button is available in ui component button okay uh, this is the canvas where is the button you can change the position of the button we have already seen this all things okay uh, you can change the text of the button suppose level 2 level 2 now I have to code for this button so I am using the same script uh, suppose just comment it now uh, as I have already created a function for loading the scene to so we will use this function only so here uh, what I have to do just click on the button and uh, here we can see that on click list is empty uh, just click on plus so it is uh, requiring a game object having a script so just you can drag this empty game object because I have assigned uh, this script scene changing on this in empty game object so just drag it now uh, here we will get uh, this script which is associated so scene change script is associated and here we can find the function so we have to call this scene changing function now if i will play it so here uh, you can see that we are in scene one okay and in scene one uh, we had placed a cube now here uh, we are getting a button sorry until and unless we press this button we will not go to the scene 2 because now we are switching between the scene on the basis of trigger of the button not on the basis of the time so if i will click on this button so here we can see that the level is changed or scene is changed and now we are in scene 2 so i hope that uh, now you have understood how we can uh, switch between the scenes in unity uh, so it is very uh, useful uh, whenever you are uh, making a complex game where you are using multiple scenes so this tutorial will be very useful for that thank you